Hey guys, Subbleek here today and welcome back to Cities Skylines. Today we are starting off with a little uh, time lapse that is going to go for about 5 minutes 45. So we're just working on this sort of town center area that we started last episode. Just doing a little bit of a time lapse to sort of get it built up and work through a few things here. Because I wanted to do, I went through and uh, added a bunch of buildings to Rico uh, with some like the custom settings and all that. So I've added a few in and then I wanted to go through and actually start placing them like wall to wall to fill out the area around the the sort of cathedral and the train station it's basically just a start to what this area is going to be but i think it really sort of brings everything together and starts making it look actually quite good and i'm really excited for this uh and also as you can see here i'm actually changing the key to a custom one that i downloaded that is like sort of more suited to the area i would say it's got like this little fence on it and it's like the stone wall instead of just a big blank default key uh, so I think it looks a hell of a lot better for this area and it sort of suits everything a lot more. I also realized that I think I missed out a few, like I didn't do every single building that the game has for like these world of world buildings. And I realized I probably missed out a few uh, ones that I kind of needed. <laughs> so I think I'll have to go back and add some more of them. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm going through and placing them because it looks good. Uh, so we've got this big sort of plaza area here at the front and I was trying to figure out if I actually wanted to put buildings in it or not originally they so I started to and I kind of just left it uh, but then I sort of come back to it later and decide to do an actual plaza there instead of doing buildings and it worked out quite well I also want this area to be really really lively so I'm doing a lot of well this is pretty much all commercial I think I do actually play some residential then I very quickly regret it because the noise pollution from the train station the cathedral <laughs> the high density commercial the the harbor is insane so then all those residential buildings start like just get really sick and start dying so i actually ended up removing them and it's all commercial in this area now which makes way more sense uh and it's really really lively because we've got all that there and we have a few unique buildings in the area uh, obviously including the cathedral being one of them but you'll see i'll place a couple more of them in a little bit uh and it really makes this place feel a lot more uh i guess a lot more real just because it's people that want to come here and i think once we build up around it it should hopefully still be quite a little tourist a tourist trap or just a shopping area really that people actually want to go to uh because that is something that is just gonna be sweet because that's also something you guys said is that we really needed a place like this somewhere in the city and i think this is a good uh, a good start to it and i think we'll definitely do more of these kind of areas that are sort of very focused on uh, a big sort of communal hub of like shopping and plazas and, and marketplaces and all that obviously I mean, we don't really have marketplaces. There's probably, I guess there's probably custom assets for that. But anyway, this, I mean, this works just as well. Uh, I also placed a couple of, like I said, so I placed a couple of unique buildings. I don't know when I do that, uh, but I guess we'll get to that soon. So we also have this little area that's like uneven next to the cathedral, which I really liked. And I was like, you know what? We could probably fit a key in here to sort of level it out up top and then have this nice like little, um, little change in elevation there and i think it just added so much detail also i don't know if there's any like smaller keys that work the same way as these i, I don't know that they can be smaller because i guess maybe the way that the terrain sort of uh is formed underneath maybe they need to be that wide but if there was like a smaller key that'd be sweet i know you can do stuff with like walls and then like put like placeable terrain over it but i don't really want to get that involved with it all Seems like a lot of work, so <laughs> I don't really want to do all that. So yeah, that's that plaza there. I actually put in front of the cathedral. It is obviously a completely different color to all the um, the sort of cement around it, but I actually think that worked quite well because it matches like that cobblestone road that we have. So I thought that actually fit quite well and it seemed like a quite a nice defined area uh, for the space. So yeah, this is where I kind of gave up on doing buildings around like in that little section. And instead I found like a unique building that goes really, really well opposite it, which I don't even know, what was it? Um... It's like, whatever that is, I can't remember. Oh, maybe it was like a town hall or something. I don't know. We'll have a look at it when we jump into the game. But I thought that looked sick just there. So you get this really nice open area. Oh, and then we did like the big department store as well, which reminds me so much of like Harrods in London. Um, and I thought that would be really good. So I put I put the department store purposely on the main street on this big avenue because I thought that made a lot of sense because it's obviously this really big uh building that obviously a lot of people will go to so being on the main road seems to make a lot of sense and i sort of just do buildings all the way up to that main road yeah we sort of just put some trees make the area look nice around here i probably want to get some little uh planters or something underneath these trees because obviously a bunch of those trees are just planted on the cement which i plan on putting something under there but for now i was like you know that'll do because i don't think i mean there might be some stuff in the game that i could use already but uh i wasn't too sure so i kind of just placed them there and i'll have a look as i go on later uh but yeah just sort of filling in this area all commercial we definitely want to i guess 
well, we need, after doing all this, because this is all like commercial, there's now so much residential demand. So we're going to start filling in probably an area around this with residential, this part. Uh, and then also we need to get public transport down here. We have the train station, so we might as well turn that on and actually provide a way for people to get down here. Uh, and then also the, uh, the cruise ship harbor, that's probably going to be turned on too. Assuming we're making enough money in profit, like in the city profit to actually be able to afford them. I think we are now. So hopefully we can get those up and running. Uh, and it will all come to life. And I'm, I'm super excited. I'm super excited for this area, but we are about ready to jump into the game. So this is what it looks like currently. I think, doesn't this, I don't know. I'm really happy with this. I think this is great. <laughs> uh, hang on, let me get rid of these um, zoning tiles. There we go. I think this is great. Uh, obviously you can use some more detail here and there. I think down here I want to do something. Uh, and then we got this little space here as well. There's like a lot of little spots that we can definitely add stuff in. But like I said, this is just a start to it all. And I think it's going to start coming together. Like even down here and stuff. There's like little areas, but I think overall as like a whole build together. Mm. This turned out this turned out way better than I thought it was going to. <laughs> like when we started building it last part, I was even questioning it, but I'm like, yeah. Oh yeah, I also painted like underneath the tracks here. It sort of made it like a little bit more dirty and all that. I don't know if I want to move some of these tracks closer together because they are quite far apart. They do take up a lot of space in this area, but I don't know. Maybe that's fine because it is a big central station. Um, and obviously if we start branching out some of these lines somewhere else, I don't know where that would go, but I'm just trying to think. Uh, we definitely have one. We should definitely have one that comes around here. Maybe then just comes over this way. That's how it gets out here. And then I guess maybe if we branch, because we have one there. Maybe if we branch one and it comes around the side and more out this way or something. I don't know, because it's kind of hard to get a lot of trains down here other than using the one line we already have. So we'll see. I guess we'll see how that goes. But right now... We, well, we got a lot of problems down here. <laughs> We've got not enough customers. We have uh, crime rate is high. Actually, I did put, I put a couple of services in here. Uh, but originally when I put this in, there was no road here to turn. So they kind of went all the way up and couldn't get there quickly. So that should help. Anyway, let's have a look. So noise pollution wise, uh, I did put some buildings in here that were residential. That was a big mistake. We couldn't, we kind of need to put it on this outer section. Uh, let's also, how much is this going to cost us? 4,000 a week. Holy. Anyway, I'll allow intercity trains on it. And then I'm going to extend our current train line from here all the way down. Because, I mean, that makes sense. Which station should we go to, though? That's a real question. There's so many. Maybe that one. Sure. I don't know. <laughs> That'll do. Uh, so we need to go here and... Oh, I've removed both stops from here. One there and then one there. And then did I ever, I never added this stop in. I really, really, I honestly meant to add this stop in. I'm sorry. I meant to do this last episode. I totally forgot about it. There we go. For the tram. <laughs> My bad. Anyway, so now we've got a train down here. Hopefully that will help us out. Uh, this should probably be turned on. This is going to really start costing money. Uh, this is a city hall. And then, yeah, that's the department store. All of these are really, oh, actually, that's not expensive. That's expensive, though. And we are really skating by with money there. <laughs> it's close. Uh, I wonder if we can do, uh, let's see. So we got all these roads here. I think maybe let's go, let me turn on snapping. So now it's just a matter of building in roads, getting some residential through the area and hopefully getting something that is going to actually be successful in terms of people wanting to live here. So we're going to do that. I think that's good. And then maybe, I think we have a road that joins here. But we go, no traffic lights, uh, and then they can also drive through this, and then these guys just give way. And I think that this should be the same. Actually, that's a one way in, so that's fine anyway. And then they can just drive along. Alright, so that'll just provide access through this area, and then the only problem I have with all these roads, and actually that's something else I meant to fix last time too, was over here, where someone pointed out um, there's no easy way to get over to that ferry station from here. Uh, I meant to do that last time as well. Um, I don't know, why did I mean to do so much stuff last time and I didn't do it? What was I doing? Oh, I, I got totally distracted and started building this area. That's what I did. Because, <laughs> there's, yeah, there's no easy way to get from this road over to here. But now there is. So, to the station. Because if you're walking here, you can't walk across this roundabout. At all. There's no way. I guess you have to go over here, come across, come down. And even some of these guys, they can't really cross this road, I don't think. Maybe they can? I don't know. I'm having a look. I don't see anyone with the ability to cross this road. So I think I'm trying to have a look. 
No, they have to walk to the end, which is super annoying. So I'm thinking maybe we do just a sneaky pathway underneath. Uh, hang on, turn off snapping. And it just goes like, oh, hang on. I don't want to destroy a building from it though. Uh, let me just turn off collision for a second. Uh, okay. And then can we turn collision back on, please? Oh, no. Oh, 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 there we go. Move this back to here. So then they should hopefully just be able to cross straight over there. Because that's technically... Yeah, there we go. They're crossing over. Cool. Alright, that's way better. Because that, that's pretty bad. That's the one annoying thing about these little roads. Unless there's like an actual intersection of crossing there, they can't walk across this road. Slightly annoying. But that should make it way more accessible for a lot of people now, which is good. So we'll not worry about that right now. Let's get back down over here. I want to build some more stuff down here. Because uh, we need a lot more people. I don't know why. Is this just not... Is this like not connected to the road or something? Or did I did I already ban vehicles here? Is that the issue? Cause I don't no, they're not banned. I don't Oh, you know what? Did I do lanes somewhere? Didn't I do that somewhere? I did it down here. But couldn't they come this way? Wait, which way are all these roads going? <laughs> ah, yeah, they're going okay, yeah, there's there's literally no way for cars to get in here. That's right. Okay, I do remember that. Uh so we because originally we weren't going to put any buildings on these roads, but now that we have, uh, we definitely need to allow vehicles to get in here. So let's flip this the other way. So then what we can say is we'll just say uh, no cars, because we, I don't want cars down here anyway. Uh, but service vehicles can come down here, that'll be fine. And then no one will be able to drive on this bit, which is perfectly fine, I still don't want that. But that should allow a cop car to come down here, any, any del delivery vehicles or anything like that. These roads are nice and busy. Oh. Hang on, where did all you guys come from? Oh no, is it? It's not people spawning out of here, is there? Also, oh, oh, actually, that's awesome. They come out. Of, okay, you know what? I was really worried that they're all going to come out this side, but they come out this. Dude, that is. There's no way that that is so perfectly lined up with this. Holy, oh my, that dude, that is so perfect. They exit right here at the crossing. That is so amazing. I'm actually so happy about that. Holy crap! <laughs> How many people are waiting for the train here? Oh, this is an intercity one, so we've got 142 people coming in on that. And then we have 42 people waiting there to go back on the train. Dude, this is so good. Uh, is this my one? No. This is just another train, right? That's not mine. Okay, so we're getting plenty of intercity inter trains. Where's my train? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Do I need more trains now? I might do. Oh god, yeah, actually I might do, because there's like 200 people almost on each stop. Where is my train? Hello? Oh, here we go. Um, line details. Let's have a look. Uh, a second train, just because the line is so long now, might actually be useful. What train are we using? We are using that one. Okay, so we'll add another one of those. Okay, so let's have a look. Where is my train? There it is. 259 people are going down here. That is actually, that is actually really, really good. I'm so happy about that. <laughs> yes! Dude, I am- wait, oh, look how many people are waiting here, too. Oh my gosh, 345 people. I guess you know what's happening, people are coming in from the, like, I guess, out of state, and then they're transferring platform to go back into the city, which is awesome. Uh, let's turn this on as well, how much does this cost? We're getting $3,000. 1600 okay, that's not bad. Alright, now, I do actually want to get some residential in here, because we have not done that. Um, I might just place this manually. Just real quick, because, I don't know, it's just a lot better. I didn't get enough buildings, though, um, that were, like, different enough. Because uh, they're all pretty... Okay, I definitely clicked on a different building there, but... Like, not changing, I swear. <laughs> oh, I didn't put any corner residential buildings in here. Slightly annoying. Uh, we definitely need a smaller road in between here somewhere too, because there's this huge gap in the middle. Uh, so what I'm going to do is we're just going to... So what I was yeah, what I was doing at that time was really just moving stuff closer together. Because it just looks way better. It looks so much... Even though that they are not like not lining up perfectly, it doesn't really matter, because it just makes it look so good. Alright, so let's get um, some pipes under all this. I don't know that I... I think I did the pipes between episodes as well. So I went through and made sure that they all sort of fit. And I think I added another uh, water tower somewhere, because we were running out. Um, so this is gonna be... there's a lot of space in here. Uh, maybe we just zone some offices? Because I haven't done any custom offices yet. I might do a small road that comes through here. So I'll do this, and then I'm just gonna go like this, and then just curve it a little bit. Yeah. 
And then maybe this can come down this way. Around the back of these buildings. And then go here. And then I'm just going to have to move this myself. Oh, okay. That was supposed to have a big... That was supposed to have a joint in the middle. Thanks, jerk. There we go. That should be better. So I want this to come back up. Wait, and go to there. Actually, yeah, go there. Let's go along the back of these buildings. I don't know. We might be able to put something there. That's, I guess, why I'm doing that. And then it can come to here. Uh, to there, to there. But I think I want it to go in the other way. And then we move this over. To there. Okay. Lovely. So that comes through here. That's obviously not joined anywhere. So we want to join that up. And that joins to here. And then we're in business. Oh, this is going to be good. I think this would probably have to be commercial though along this road. So I don't know if I want to do residential there. We'll try and keep it a little bit further back. How loud are we looking at here? It's not... That's not great down there. We don't want to put residential there. I think... Can we do... Is there any sort of unique building or something we could put in here to attract more people? I guess that would be loud though, wouldn't it? Hmm. Okay. Well, let's maybe just zone some residential here and then we can sort of squish more in. And then through... Most of this area, I would like to do... I really want to... I really need to add some offices now, because... In terms of just, like, into Rico, so I can actually use them. Because it's gonna... We're gonna need them throughout this area. Anyway, we, we need more residential. Let's just do another block of residential. Why is this tool here? Go away. No, oh, cool. It's stuck open. <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> it's my favorite. I love... I love when they get stuck open. Uh, okay, so it's gonna go here. And it's gonna come back in like that. I can come down here. And then... I don't really know. I don't really know what this is doing. <laughs> it's, I, don't, I don't really know. I, I should use more... I like this road, but I, it's also quite big for this area. I do like this being a very small sort of grid. You could use these, actually. Maybe these would be better. A little cobblestone lane. Although, but the... the um, this network extension ones keep them closer together, which is probably better. I'm wondering if we should have it joined down to this road. Because we I currently have a pathway here, but I think it might just be better if we use a road. So I might uh, move this down a little bit so it comes around that building, ideally. There we go. And then this can come up and like this. Go through there. Actually, I might redo that curve because that's not ideal. And then we can definitely get some nice, I don't know, something along the waterfront here. It'd be sweet. Okay, so I'll go through like that, and then that sort of connects all this up. I'll just demolish that and rebuild it. So we actually currently have... Well, I was going to say, currently have a pathway there, which I have just destroyed. Uh, but I might actually change it to this pathway, though. Because I think this one is usually better. Just because we can blend it in way more. That'll allow them to walk through. And then so back over here, what are we looking at for sound? So up here is really good, I think. And I think I might just zone it, rather than trying to do it myself. Get rid of that bit. I don't know what we're going to do with that. It's a nice little inlet. That's a really good ferry stop, actually. I mean, that could be a ferry, a ferry stop instead of down here. Although, down there makes way more sense, so I don't know. But I guess maybe not, because that's where all the big ships go. Oh, I haven't connected up the cargo port either. I should probably do that. Uh, so what are we looking at here? Oh, this is good. Yeah, let's zone this. Zone all these. This will be fine. And then I think I might have to come back through here and do some manual placement as well. Uh, what about through here? This, probably want it to be commercial. We don't really- oh, we do have a little bit of demand for it, actually. Okay. And then maybe just some offices? Not there. I don't know, it'll probably start getting a lot louder. Oh, no! I haven't zoned this area. <laughs> I haven't themed it! So we're getting all these crappy buildings. Well, not crappy, but all the non-themed buildings. Okay. Is my is my theme still there? <laughs> uh, the best Euro. What do you mean some buildings aren't loaded? They should be, they should be loaded. Alright, get out of here. That's annoying. <laughs> and goodbye, everyone. Oh, I could have left that one. Is anything else zoned? Oh, yeah, through here. Oops. My bad. Well, at least I noticed it sort of early on. I wouldn't mind actually some 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 modern buildings in here. I wouldn't mind doing like a little 
Because, like I said, I want to do, like, a sort of modern downtown somewhere. Maybe over this side. Maybe this could be, like, the redeveloped, more modern area with a few taller buildings. And maybe we get rid of these. I haven't actually seen the comments on what I did last time. So I'm just hoping you guys like it, because otherwise we're going to have a little bit of a problem. Uh, let me connect this guy up, because I think... Am I spending money on this? I think I am. Uh, and I haven't really used it, so I probably should. Uh, so let's go to here. And then maybe this could just come all the way off. Look at that. So is this now... Yeah, that is... Oh, no, it's not on. I'm not paying for it. And now I am. Uh, cool. So is that... That's all connected. Does that have power? No. But it's power. Again, not ideal the way to do this, but... That'll work for now. Uh, okay, cool. So that'll go there. We're getting quite a lot of traffic through here, which is interesting. Is that the only way that they have out? Or whatever? No, they can go out there. Why are they all choosing to go this way? That's interesting. Um, they could all go that way, but they all have decided to come around. Oh, wait. Are there people doing a U-turn here? Hang on. Wait, I can't tell. Hang on, I'll click on this. No? Okay, no. I thought maybe people coming down here doing it. Oh my god, there's so many people dead down here. Hang on, we need to, <laughs> we need to sort that out. Uh, hello? Hello? Don't die. Uh, did I do a clinic down here? No, I didn't. Actually, I should probably get a hospital. Mm, this one. Maybe this can go back here somewhere. Or like on the- it can go on the main road, maybe. Maybe off the side of the main road here. But this road's already really busy. I think I need to do something about that. Uh, maybe this should go the other side. No, it should go over this old side. I don't know where to put, you know what, I'm just going to put it for he here for now, because I'm not actually sure. Uh, and it's kind of like all these other services, I kind of just put them in here, they're just kind of around. But we definitely need some sort of medical care down this way. And maybe a crematorium can go... down here. <laughs> right in the middle of it. It is a nice little spot, it like tucks in perfectly, but I don't want it there. Uh, I don't know, where should this go? I mean, I guess it should just go, maybe just near the hospital. Sure, let's just put it there. Let's put it there for now, and we're gonna sort it out. Um, I don't know that- okay, maybe there isn't a lot of traffic coming this way. I think it's just- there's cars going this way that, uh... Because then, obviously, they don't have a set of lights, so they just have to wait, and they're giving way. So that's probably what's going on. Um... What if we do a set of lights? Maybe that will- well, I mean, that definitely helped already, so... Yeah, they don't have to wait for long. Maybe that's okay, because we don't have lights there or down here or anywhere else, really. And that's definitely helped this section out. So let's just leave that. That's fine. Um, now, no one has come back here, because I guess for some reason there's no... Why? Uh, oh, hang on. Not loaded. Why are none of these European buildings loaded now? I mean, these ones are. But why, why are the specifically European ones not loaded? Dude, I don't understand... ...themes. Oh, these are loaded. Why? Oh, they're not high density. Hang on. Oh, these are loaded. Wait, what? what isn't loaded then? I'm confused. <laughs> these are all there. Okay. Yeah. I'm confused what the issue is. What did I do wrong? That's all there. Hang on. I don't know. <laughs> Help. Help. Why isn't it working? What is not loaded in this theme? Hang on. Some of these. Commercial block. So some of these? Oh, those are all there. Um. I'm not even sure where the ones that weren't loaded are. Maybe down here somewhere? Nope. Dude, I don't know. Anyway, nothing's building there, so that's great. So the theme is working well. Um, cool. <laughs> cool. Oh dear. Um, is there another reason they're not building here? No, that's probably the theme. Sunnyside Hills. Themes. Allow buildings which aren't in anything. Not in anything. Hmm. Nope. Oh. Nope. Damn it. Just... Yeah. Okay, it's definitely the theme, and they're definitely building... 
the wrong stuff as soon as I turn it off. I don't... Why is it not working? What is this? Is this a proper building? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, that's fine. Hmm. I don't know. Interesting. I don't... I'm not quite sure why this isn't building properly. Oh, maybe they are now. Are they all just building the... Okay, we're all just building the same thing now. Is that all we... Okay, well... I don't know. Dude, I need, I need help with this stuff, because clearly... No matter what I do with this, it doesn't work. <laughs> the best Euro theme is not the best Euro theme. I think there- isn't there a mod to load old buildings? But even still, it doesn't say... It- the, Oh wait, that's all we have? It's four buildings. In high density. What? Where did all my buildings go? Uh... Dude, I don't know. Oh, wait, why are we showing one by one? Okay, no, never mind. Uh, never mind. <laughs> I don't know how this works. Uh, it's the worst. Yeah, there's loads of buildings in here, but why are they not loading? Dude, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop not knowing what the problem is and just wait till you guys tell me. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. In any, in any case, this looks really good. Uh, we achieved this, and I'm really happy with that. Thanks for watching guys, I will see you next time, and have an awesome day.